What is up monsters, Run Monsters here and welcome back to another video. Today we are hopping back into the Myths of the Eastern Realm DLC. So, um, uh, I'm very excited to hop back into it. So, there's a handful of things I want to do for the video. I want to progress the story. I've been running around doing like all like the little side stuff here and there. Um, I did run across a mythical creature. Um, I feel like I'm going to need to level up a little bit, so we're going to go talk to her in the forge, level up, see what she's got, and then hopefully we can go down to attack that creature. So, without further ado, let's go. Okay. What you got for me, woman? Goddess. Goddess Noir, I made it. What's next? What's next is you stay out of trouble, child. Goddess, please. The balance will never be restored if you don't let me help. You need me. What I need is to patch up the skies and stop the chaos energy from overtaking us all. Our universe was once pure chaos energy, right? Can we just destroy for good? No. To each thing in this universe, there is a complementary element. Chaos given form and structure led to the balance of heaven above and earth below. With balance came purpose. When I arrived on this world, I saw it as an ideal place for life to flourish. I created all manner of creatures. And eventually, your kind, humankind, only balance made this possible. So, we whip up a tasty dish of balance? And what, toss it into the scar? Representative elements of heaven and of earth fuse together into a purified form. At the top of Bujel Mountain is where the Scar's influence is the strongest. There, I will mend the heavens, seal off the Scar, and return our worlds to as they once were. Sounds simple enough. Simple? There is no gain without some sort of sacrifice, child. A farmer who tends his fields to feed his family sacrifices his time spent with them. Sacrifice. Goddess, growing up, I had no one. Only stories of gods, demons, and heroes. I know all of the legends by heart, and I know, I know these heroes would have done everything they could to help. And you fancy yourself a hero? Not yet, but... I'd like to find out. I suppose if you want to help, we can start small. I'm ready. Please tell me what I should do. Tell you? Child, no. It's time for you to learn through the most efficient educational process known to humankind. Homework and study. Oh, God. All right, well, let me grab this real fast. Let me grab this real fast. I'll take this as well. No, nothing? It seems Goddess Nua is searching for something from the sky? A piece of heaven, to be exact. The pieces that fell in Peng Lai, to be precise. Hmm. Could the element of heaven be a piece of the sky itself? Like a cloud or a rainbow? What? No, don't be silly. What? How was that silly? You know, I totally forgot to do the potions. Hmm. Hello, I have done your scavenger hunt. I have checked out the furnace. Well, child, what did your studies uncover? 
With the flames of Yandi and the pieces of the sky, we shall craft a magnificent flame sky thing and balance the hell out of the scar. No getting in trouble. No running off to strange places. You keep your distance from those monsters. You remember to call back. Am I clear? Don't think I'll let you go off alone. There's someone <gasps> to me. Icaros! This bird will go with you and keep We get an Icaros too! It's beautiful. Does it have a name? Its name is Jingwei. Ah, oh, Icaros number two. Oh, stop it. Jingwei is a beautiful name. I like Icaros. Icaros. Anyway, this is a technique I, I called my other bird Icaros as well. When using it, your body will become as light as the wind and the leaves. Hmm. Nice. Okay. So, I was thinking of going to the Jangwu tree first. That's where the rainbows in the land always appeared, and you will locate the pieces of the heavenly kingdom and bring me back the flames of Yandi. Rainbows won't help. But maybe that dead dragon could hold some clues. They were master of the elements, after all. Child, enough! There are no rainbows left in Peng Lai. Not after the scar appeared. That's impossible. Focus, child. Find the broken pieces of heaven and bring me back the flames of Yandi. How many times you gotta say that? I understand. And please be careful. I'm really loving her voice actor. Actress. Oh. Wait, what? Let's go! Oh wow, that did surprisingly a lot of damage. Oh! Thundercats! Get him, Icarus! Ah, shoot him in the butt. <laughs> Headshot. Dick shot. Just kidding. Woo. Ugh. Oh man. Oh. Alright. Oh man, I'm kicking the shit out of him. I'm so leveled up it's not even funny. Like honestly, on the scale of one to leveled, I'm fucking leveled, bro. I'm just trying to get him down, man. Him being up high is just not working out for me. I can only hit you with so many arrows. Icaros. Get him, Icaros. Oh, shit. Oh, you know what? Oh man, I could probably. Oh shit, where'd he go? Ah, I did hit him a little bit. Okay. Okay. Ah! Yeah. Hit him again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so leveled. I'm so leveled up, man. You ain't gonna do nothing right now. Oh, hey, I don't remember you seeing you here before. What are you doing? Woo! Oh! Oh, did I get him? 
<laughs> I got him. This piece of heaven is pretty dirty. And these monsters seem to be attracted to it. <gasps> Maybe this piece will be of some use? Press the wrong button. Sorry. Whoop. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, nope. Wrong button. Got him. <laughs> Goddess Nua, I found a piece of heaven, but it's covered in that stuff. It's corrupted. There must be some that remain untainted. Peng Lai used to be the land of rainbows, right? Maybe those dragons to the east... Child, don't even think of going there. No dragons! Find me more pieces of heaven and hurry back. Okay, okay. Right after I see about a dragon. Nice. Now I can finally get in there. About damn time. Whew, I'm free. That skull smelled like a snake's armpit, man. Thanks a bunch, kid. Hong's the name. Always smart to get on a dragon's good side. You're a dragon? Obviously. I may not be all in <clears throat> one piece. But I had the power to make your semi-wildest dreams come true. If you're really who you say you are, then you can help <clears throat> restore the balance to this land. Whoa, whoa. Remember I said semi-wildest. What about a rainbow? Can you give me that? Kid, just so happens that rainbows are my specialty. We dragons kind of own when it comes to the elements and all that. Uh, awesome. But... I'm guessing it's not that simple. First things first. I need to be reunited with my little sis, Ni. She completes me. Literally. If you can help a dragon out, we'll get you what you need. The purest form of the heavens. Surely this will be an even bigger help to the goddess. Fine. But you better make good on those promises. You got it. Mind if I hit your right? Oh, man. That doesn't feel too good. Okay, now do that. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Go! My little dragon friend. Oh, wait. Whoops. Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm missing something. Sorry, I forgot. I need to stand. Okay, come on. Get up. Oh, wait, there's another one? Fuck, there's a... Damn it. Come on. There we go. Boom. Boom, diggy diggy. Human. No offense, kid. <laughs> Hello, Ni. I'm Ku. The boring old human that freed you. And your brother. This thing? Um, so about that rainbow. You heard of Bladeza? Nice neighborhood, affordable prices, amazing storms. Sis and I need to energize a bit. And that's the perfect place. A home of the dragons? I've always wanted to visit. Let's go right... Oh, wait. Hold on. Where are you? Is everything okay? Are you alright? What's taking you so long? Goddess Nua, I have something great to share with you. I may have a lead on the element of heaven. Oh, okay. Wonderful. 
Hurry back. No what? Oh crap. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Show me your riches, skull. Hey, I bring dragons. I bring you two dragons. Guys, look what I found. What took you so long? Did you find the pieces of heaven? I found something even better. Yeah. Two dragon souls. They can bring us a real rainbow. Dragons? And where are they now? Oh, they can't travel too far, so I let them into my body. Hey, you two, come out. You did what? What else did they promise you? These dragons are dangerous, child. You've seen how the chaos affects anything from heaven. Yes, you're right. I've seen the heaven has fallen to the scar, but the sky still stands. Why is this such a difficult choice for you? Do not talk to me about choice, child. There is so much you do not yet understand. I made many hard choices to protect humankind. Sacrifices had to be made. And everything worked out just fine. No regrets. Regrets? I'd make the same choices again in a heartbeat. Everything I did then and do now is for humankind. For you. And now you're just... Why can't you just be safe and stay put? Goddess, there are plenty of people that are staying put. And it's not by choice. I will recover these dragon's power with or without you. Recover? Wait, you don't know. Come back, child! What are you gonna do, goddess? Lock me up again? I won't get in your way. Do what you think is necessary. I don't know why he's getting so angry at her, though. Where do they want to go? Well, they don't want to go over there. Oh, uh, is that that place that's straight? Oh, okay. It might be the place that's straight ahead. I'm going to have to go up to the tree somehow. I saw I saw somebody's picture. So I'm going to have to go up to the tree, regardless. Okay, you can stop pretending now. We was not here. That obvious, huh? Sorry, kid. You think you can activate our altars for the Ceremony of Storms without her help? Ceremony of Storms? Yeah, we drink up that big-ass stone. Basically. Here it is. The best altars in the house. Hmm. Okay, so both of those are heavy. One down. Okay. Um, do you have anything else for me? Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Oh, wow. I totally didn't even see that there. 
Okay. Ah. 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 Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Boom! Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Boom. Hell yeah, let's go, dragon! <laughs> Come on. Give me a dragon! Phew. Didn't know we could fit all that in this. I feel a bit sleepy. Okay, you got your fill. Next up, we're going to the Jemu tree. What's so special about that tree? Other than it's freaking huge. The Jemu tree was once a channel to heaven. After the rain cleared, a beautiful rainbow would stretch upward into the sky. When I was a kid, I always dreamed of walking on that rainbow and climbing up to heaven. That's real cute, kid. And you think its connection to heaven can help restore us? You've absorbed the storms here. It's clear <laughs> that you and me still have some of your power, even in soul form. All you need is a little extra oomph. But what about that thing new I said about all things heavenly and, you know, trouble? The goddess is terrified of everything that can make a real difference. Let's go to Jian Mu. Hmm. Ah, kid, kid, kid. Oh. Spicy, spicy kid. He just doesn't understand. We've arrived at Jammu, guys. I have a good feeling. It's so barren. I can feel hmm. traces of divine energy on my, uh, I guess, tongue, but still. Something feels off. You'll be fine. I'm here. Go on and uh, absorb, I guess. Oh, come on, man. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> We've okay. arrived at Jammu, guys. I have a good feeling. It's so barren. I can feel traces of divine energy on my, uh, I guess, tongue. But still, something feels off. You'll be fine. I'm here. Go on and. Uh, absorb? I guess? Are you fucking kidding me? Really? The exact same part? What the fuck, game? <laughs> what is this? Alright, well. Uh, then I'm going to end this video here. If you guys like it, let me know down in the comments below. I'm not going to do like a super long outro. Uh, yeah, I gave this two tries. I guess I will try again at another date. See what happens from there. But if you guys like it, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys have any other recommendations or stuff that you want to see, let me know down there as well. And as always, an error has occurred in the following episode.